Grim here. Welcome back to Grim's Garage. Today we're looking at the TMNT Mutant Mayhem Pizza Blaster RC. Now, at first glance you might think I've already done this, or maybe perhaps you've seen this, but there are two turtle vans. One is a play van that you can pick your figures in. This is a little smaller. This also shoots pizzas, but in a different way. And you cannot put your uh, figures in it. This is an RC car. Nonetheless, we're going to take a nice look at this guy. Some quick shots of the packaging. Pause if you want some further information here. A little story there. Instructions on the bottom, it does say you're going to need, what is it, four double A's and two triple A's. So be prepared for that. I personally always am. So I will be right back in a moment. We will get this guy out and ready for action. And here we are. We're going to start off. We've got a pile of uh, ten foam pizzas, not whole pizzas, like the uh, plastic ones for the other van, these are uh, center hollow foam ones, our remote control, which is a big slice of pizza, which does require two double A, or I'm sorry, two triple A batteries, which are not supplied, you will need to use a Phillips head screwdriver, open that up and put two triple A's in there and then you want to put this on on position to get it to work and it's going to be blinking so it's trying to connect that's why it's blinking because it's not connected to the vehicle we'll do that a bit later take a quick look at the truck or van that is pretty cool details not too bad. Even the front uh, spare has rubber tire on there. There are rubber tires. Help grip around. I only mention that because a lot of the uh, these cheaper RCs, you know, not professional, just uh, fun toy nostalgic type RCs have plastic tires and they don't run very well on a lot of surfaces. But these do have rubbers on them. And you do also have to install three double A's in the base of the van here. So it's two double A's, or two triples for the pizza controller, three doubles for the van itself. And then there's the power switch there. Um, a lot of people I hear a lot of questions about this. Um, you really don't need to mess with this unless you see a real issue. Don't touch that. Keep it center unless there's a problem. And the problem would be that is really a, a steering correction or calibrator. Um, so if you're pushing the remote to make the truck go front and back and it seems to pull a little to one side, like a real car might be off center and needs a tune up, uh, that's just a steering calibration. So if it pulls a little towards the right, maybe turn it to the left a bit and even up the steering. So straight is literally straight. That's what that does. So I'm going to keep it straight because it seems pretty good. I'll be honest with you, I did test this out, tested it on hardwood floors, tested it on carpet, and it runs pretty good. Um, pizza shoot pretty awesome. Uh, my only complaint with this would be it does not have a very good steering range. It does not turn very well. If you wanted to make a tight turn, you're literally doing like a nine point turn trying to get it. You're going to go front, back, front, back, front, back. It, it's really tight. But, uh, we got a lot of sticker details. 
fake turtles in the windows, TMNT license plate, Leo and Downey, and then we got a fake, fake Mike here, in the steering wheel here, and I'd like to take one second to pull out the current line action figure of that. Take a look at the size comparison. Now I'd say they're almost the same size. I think the one that ends maybe like 5% smaller. But other than that, the figure's eyes are painted on almost a flat surface over the mask. Whereas the one in the van, the eyes are bulbous and protruding from the mask. nice mold that I personally think it's a better molding of the eyeballs than the actual figure that we got but I pulled this out for size comparison and to be honest with you I think uh, um, yeah if you're just playing with your figures this is still fun it's still cool it doesn't matter you can't put your figures in it you could still play with it amongst your figures. And even though it's smaller than the play, the other play van, I still think it looks kind of screen accurate. Because on, on the films, all the vehicles are kind of like clown vehicles. They look a lot smaller. Like the, the van in the film looks like this. Comparison to the driver currently. But then they got like six characters in the van. Uh, size dimensions don't really add up, but speaking of size dimensions, and by the way, um, pizza slice goes right there, controller for display purposes, which completes the look of the van because the van in the movie had a pizza slice on top. I'm putting that a bit on the side because I'm going to do a size comparison real quick for you. Sorry for that jostle. Here. Oop. That is the actual figure play van, which initially I thought was awesome. Um, the old turtle van line had a, you know, they had their van, but then they also had a separate separate vehicle toy that shot pizzas and with this they incorporated the van with the pizza shooter this is very reminiscent of the original pizza shooter but now it's like a sidecar shooter and as you can see size comparison that's almost a 50 percent if not 60 percent size difference way different and a lot of the details are very different too but still amazing so we're gonna get this out of here continue our review on this guy so first off we're gonna take a look at the pizza shooter here now the uh little pizza stand base here which also looks like a rear wing there's a little switch here on, or a, a switch but a little button or something there and we have our pizza storage we are supplied with 10 pizzas but i think only half of them fit in there at a time yep only half so consider it there's your initial five and here's five extra because I'm going to be down to two after the first week. They'll be missing. Now, operation. We're going to put this back on. The blinking trying to connect. Flip a van on. It stopped blinking. I think it's connected oh yes it is so controller we've got forward reverse left right 
Now, this is where it gets a little confusing. Now, this button turns on the um, pizza turret power. It'll keep it spinning so that you can push this button and intermittently shoot the pizzas. But you can also just shoot the pizza button and it'll shoot pizza anyway. Maybe just not as fast. Now, I have to say... The biggest disappointment for me in this toy is that the uh, pizza shooting turret is not um, is not angle adjustable. I can't choose how where it's shooting. Um, so I would say after testing, because I can't show you here, I'm sorry, but the uh, the pizza trajectory is. Mm, 8 to 12 feet in total length and it reaches about a 4 foot height at its peak on the arch so not too bad it shoots pretty far they shoot fast and it shoots fun so I'll take and show you a bit of this like I said the only other gripe with this is the steering you can see here there's not much steering movement so in order to make a sharp turn you got to do a lot of forward and back like nine point turn type crap but otherwise it's not too bad moves around pretty decently here speaking of that let's start the pizza attack so here's with the power on and intermittently pulsing the pizza button see they shoot out pretty damn nice I mean there's a delay from the button but when they shoot they shoot there's also keep the button off as I said, they'll still shoot if you touch this. Oh, wait, it's kind of jammed. It has... Yeah, it does feel kind of jammed up. Yeah, maybe I'm... Maybe I got lucky. But I could have swore it shot a few pizzas without that going before. Oh! I guess I've gotten lucky before. So, yeah, you're going to want to turn this on to turn the consistent motor on. And that guy's there to shoot. So, I'd have to say the two defaults are non-pivoting turret and limited steering. But otherwise, a very fun toy. I had this guy speeding around the living room, terrorizing the cats. Half of them, at least. The other half find it delightful. And with that, thank you for joining me today. I hope you join me again soon. Please know you're all appreciated. I hope you'll like and subscribe. Please, have a very good night.